And it's absolutely wrong to pretend that public servants can be insulated from the pressures that everyone is facing. It is unjustifiable that other taxpayers should work longer and pay more tax, so public service workers can retire earlier and get more. It is the employees who are benefiting from longer life and generous pensions, but it is the taxpayer who seems to pick up the tab. In this context, it should not be a surprise that the debate on the future of public service pensions is often polarised between two extremes, neither of which is based on fact. On the one hand, there are those who seem to believe that pensions for public service workers should not change, irrespective of the huge economic, demographic and social changes going on around them. On the other hand, there are those equally misguided voices who seem to think that public service should be the front runner in a race to the bottom in pensions. Between these two, the Chancellor and I believe there is an indisput indisputable case for reforming public service pensions to ensure they are affordable, sustainable, high quality and fair in the face of huge demographic changes. We are all living longer. That means more years spent in work as well as in retirement. To keep the best pensions in the country, you will have to contribute more. Those contributions will support your pension, not subsidise the pension of top earners. So when you do reach retirement age, the pension you receive will be broadly as generous for low and middle income earners as it is now. At the same time, we are protecting the pension that you have earned to date. We are reforming for the future, but we will not touch the pension that you have already earned. So it is all the more disappointing that there are a minority of unions who seem hell-bent on premature strike action before these discussions are even complete. To justify strike action, they are misrepresenting the government's position and feeding scare stories. I say to the members of those unions, a strike now might be in the union boss's interest, but it is not in yours. Don't let them sacrifice your pe pension for their political platform. 